Today we're going to be sweat soldering, so I'm going to solder this sterling dragonfly that I've cut out onto another piece of sterling. Now, if you just place your solder bits on the edges, it will solder, but you'll have an ugly skull or shadow, they call it, to clean up. So sweat soldering is a way that you can make a perfect solder join with no cleanup. For this I'm going to put a screen on my charcoal block and then I'm going to put my piece on the screen. The reason I'm doing this is we don't want to heat our piece directly. Uh, we want to circle it and if we circle it with this screen the flame will actually go under the metal and it'll heat it quicker. So the first thing we're going to do is melt a couple of bits of solder onto the piece that we're going to put on here. So this is actually the sweat soldering bit. So I'll be using hard solder for this. And what we need is to figure out mentally how much solder it's going to take to just cover this whole area. So. Flex the piece and then pick up your solder with your flux brush and basically we're just going to line the whole thing like this. You can see I've been fairly generous with the solder. Now what we're going to do is I'm using the Smith's Mini Torch with a neutral flame. You can pretty much use any torch for this. And we're going to just gently heat this until the flux dries out. Once the flux dries out, the solder will be held in place. Then we can bring it up to temperature. We want this solder to just start to flow. So that's dry. We just circle the piece. And it doesn't have to go everywhere, but if it just starts to melt, that's good. Like that. So now we're going to flux the piece that it's going to go on. And just take your tweezers, flip it over, and you'll notice that I didn't pickle it, because you don't have to. It still has flux on it, and it, it doesn't need anything else. So flux the piece it's going on, and like I said, I put it on the screen, because the heat will go underneath. Now, we're just going to circle this with the flame because we don't want the piece hotter than our base. If the piece is hotter than the base, when the solder starts to flow, it'll jump up on top. So we actually want the base to be slightly hotter than the piece. So never put the torch directly on your applique piece. So this is our same neutral flame, and like I said, I'm, I'm just going to circle the piece that I've got the solder on. And I'll shift in. Now this is the same old story. The flux, once it dries out, as you heat, the flux will go clear. And that's an indicator that you're getting close to soldering temperature. So you can see that big clear patch now. So just keep circling. This is sterling, so it'll come up to a dull red. Don't worry about it. 
and you should have seen the nice silver flash when the solder melted. This, at this point, you're finished. Uh, quench this, pickle it, and have a look. And there should be a nice, what they call the meniscus, which is the smooth curve between the two pieces with the solder. You should be able to see that all the way around. If you don't, don't put any solder on the outside. You can heat this back up and then use your solder pick to just touch it uh, where it may be slightly warped, it may be slightly high. And that's it. Once you've taken your piece out of the pickle and you have a look at it, it would be nice if you saw a solder line all the way around, but truthfully, if you saw it drop, and a little bit of solder almost anywhere, it, it's on there, it's soldered. And it would be better to just leave it than to try to put solder on the outside to fix it. Now, to polish this, if you want a nice crisp edge, what you're gonna have to do is put this in a tumbler. Uh, if you don't mind the edges being slightly rounded, uh, the Tripoli wheel, and it's always difficult to get the close to the edge of these things. I would recommend a fairly stiff bristle brush uh, with Tripoli on it. And with bristle, you always have to make sure you keep it moving, otherwise it'll wear little grooves in it. But the bristle works quite well for getting into there. And I just use this on my uh, Fordham. Just charge it, which means you're putting the stuff on the wheel. And then that's it. Sweat soldering. <laughs>